Hi there, thank you for joining me today. I'm Natasha of Natasha Miller Creates, and today I am reviewing the Ohuhu dual tip marker pens. I got the 60 color pack. These are dual tip designed with a 0.4 millimeter fine tip for outlining and detail, and then it says a one to two millimeter brush tip for shading and coloring. These pens come in packs of 36, 60, 120, and 160. And I believe these are called their Maui pens. They have another set called Luau, but these are the Maui pens specifically. Um, quick disclaimer, I did buy these a few years ago and I'm only now getting around to reviewing them. Um, my pens are black, but the pens you will see online have a white body. So these Ohuhu pens run from $18 for the 36 pack to $79 for the 160 pack. You can get these on Amazon as well as the Ohuhu website. I got mine off of Amazon, so it came pretty quickly. Okay, so as I mentioned, these have a fine liner tip and a brush tip as well. They are vibrant colors and the pens do have a color code on them. So they just have the number. This is number 100. They have, they are smooth, sturdy dual tips. They're versatile and multifunctional, which we will be testing. And then it says it's a safe and non-toxic ink. So these are water-based art markers and that's what we'll be testing today. I also see these pens on non-bleeding inks, so they're perfect for coloring, books, and journaling. Um, I will be testing these in 160 GSM Archer and Olive paper. That's what I use. I strongly recommend pen testing your pens in whatever journal you use. The pens also have color caps so that it is easy to find the pens and the colors the same on both sides. The fine tip obviously has the thinner lid and then the brush tip has the thicker tip. And as you saw when I first opened my container, something fell out of it. Uh, really cool. It's extra tips and nibs for your pens. So there are two fine tip and then there are three brush tip and then it gives you instructions on how to replace the nibs. So that's a really nice touch. So like I said, I have the 60 colors. It did come with a 60 color sheet. It feels like a sticker, but I don't think it is. Um, at first I thought maybe this line was to write something on top of it, but given the glossy nature of the sheet, it's just to show the fine line. Um, it's great that it comes with a swatch sheet, but honestly, you're not gonna know unless you start testing this in your notebook. For example, 64, 60, 75, and 100 all look to be the same color and same with the blues. So it'll be interesting to see how these actually swatch. It did come with a swatch sheet. I have already swatched it. Um, <laughs> so we'll take a closer look at this later. I do think that for this price point, this is a really great color range. Like I said, this is the 60 pack. The 36 pack will obviously have a little less <laughs> than the 60, mathematically speaking. Um, but if I look at it online, you just have a few yellows, a few blues, a green, some oranges, some purples, some grays. Uh, I don't know, I feel like this is a really, this looks like a really good range. So we're gonna get into how they work. We're going to be lettering, blending, and taking testing to see how they watercolor as well, and then we'll get into swatching. Okay, so I grabbed one of the purple pens and we're going to take a look at how they perform. So right away, the tip, the brush tip is a lot firmer than a Tombow. And it's a little bit easier to control, which I really like. So I would say that this brush tip is a lot easier to control than a Tombow. Um, it's, it's firm enough that you're able to control it, but then it has that brush, the soft brush that you're able to get the downstrokes. I also like how it has this gradient that shows up. Um, I think that is very nice as well. Tombow has a similar gradient as well. So if we grab a Tombow for comparison, the Tombow tip is a lot softer, so it 
takes a little bit more effort to control. And then it has the marker tip as opposed to the fine liner tip. And then if we did a side by side comparison of the two, that's what we end up looking at. This is somewhat wider at the base and it flares out or it tapers fr from the base to the tip. This has a little bit more room before it starts tapering. So I think that's what gives it that firm, easy to control, but then you still get your, you're still able to easily get your downstrokes. Okay, and now we are going to see how well they blend together. So for blending, I grabbed the lightest blue, which is an 82, and the darkest blue that I could find, which is an 88. And we're going to blend these together and see how well they work together. We're going to do on the page blending, we're going to do tip to tip blending, blending from a palette and then using a water brush pen to blend. And then just for fun, we'll see what it looks like as a watercolor. So we're starting off blending on the page. So I'm just grabbing a letter. And we're just going to see how smooth of a gradient we can get. Okay, so not the greatest blending, not the smoothest blend. Um, we'll do tip to tip and see if that goes better. I don't see any difference there. I don't see any difference there. So maybe the contrast between the blues aren't enough. I mean, here's the dark blue. Here's the light blue. So yeah, maybe the contrast isn't enough. Um, with that said, these do look like they're self-cleaning tips. So that's nice. <laughs> uh, we're gonna grab a palette and we're going to pick up color from the palette and see how well the pen does. Couldn't find a blending palette, but packaging is good enough. <laughs> so we're gonna lay some color down. Okay, so that is very subtle, but that is a very smooth blend. So if you're going to do blending with these pens, I would strongly suggest using a palette to get that blending. Okay, next up, we're gonna use a water brush pen. Um, I have one right here, and we're gonna see how well it blends out. And not at all. <laughs> so, that's not it for these pens. Um, but while I have this, I'm just going to pick it up. I do think that is very pretty and very vibrant as a watercolor. So um, if you wanna do watercoloring with these pens, that would be great. With that said, they do have um, water brush pens to buy, um, but you can definitely use these as well. So now we're going to go into swatching the pens and then I'll be back with my summary.
Okay, so those are the markers swatched. Um, <laughs> I underestimate how long it takes to swatch 60 markers, but this is the color variety of the 60 pack. I really like it. I think that's great. Um, my favorite part about this is the variation of orange. Not a lot of pen packs have a lot of oranges, so that's really fun. This is my favorite orange by far. I have artwork in this color, so that makes me really excited. Um, things I wish they did differently for the 60 pack, maybe a couple less greens, especially since there are quite a few colors that are very much the same. So 54, 56, 66, 67, 88, 76. Um, some more variation in the red would be great. Once these have been dried down for quite a while and the reds kind of look the same. So maybe a couple of variations in the red would have been nice. A lighter gray would have been great. A lighter brown would have been great. But outside of that, this is actually really, really great color variation for this price point and for 60 pens. Um, overall, I do really like these. I think they are beginner friendly. Um, I'm not quite sure how long the tip will last. Um, I find that the less expensive pens do tend to lose the firmness of the brush tip a lot quicker the more you use them. So um, I haven't tested that, but just keep that in mind when you're buying these. But otherwise, I definitely think these are going to be fun to use and fun to play with. I know their blending isn't great, but they do have water brush pens in their line that's that are really great, that work really well. Again, I've done a review of them before, but it was a misunderstanding of the product. <laughs> but now I'm on the right track and this is the pen I was looking for. So I hope you enjoyed today's review. If you have any questions or comments, please just leave them below. And yeah, let me know if you will be trying these pens. Thank you so much for your time today and I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to check out these videos down below. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.